Yes, we've had hot, dry weather. The next concern we have turns to wildfires because hot, dry weather means a high wildfire risk. Brianna Fernandez is out in live now in Denver right now, and you've got some ideas about this. Hey, good morning, Ed. That's exactly right. So a new report from CoreLogic shows that more homes are in danger and more money is on the line right here in Colorado than any other state in the U.S. except for California. So Colorado made it to the top of the list, and you guys, that's not the list that we want to be in right now. With more than 332,000 homes at risk, that's more than $140 billion worth of property. This report also says climate change could make things worse with predictions anywhere from 40 to 50 percent steeper losses by 2050. And while rural areas are usually the first consideration for highest fire risk, this report highlights several metro areas at risk in Colorado as well, including Colorado Springs, Fort Collins, Boulder and Pueblo. It's critical for us to remember that wildfires don't care about demographics. They don't care if it's a rural community or urban community. If there's fuel that can be burned and that fuel leads to a populated area, that wildfire is a risk to that populated area. Now, according to this company, CoreLogic, insuring companies are able to evaluate your property risk, and there's some things that you can do as well. But the best advice would be to contact your insurance company to see where you're at with your property risk. Jordan, Corey. All right, Brianna, thank you. Families who lost homes in Colorado's most destructive wildfire are finally getting closer to moving back in. Superior says it's issued rebuilding permits for 60% of homes lost in the town. 66 families there have clearance to move back in. Next month, the town is going to start working with homeowners to make sure empty or excavated lots are safe and free of brush. Louisville and Boulder County have cleared dozens more homeowners to move back home. Right now, the search is still on for thousands of people missing after wildfires in Maui. We now know at least 111 people have died in the deadliest U.S. wildfire in more than 100 years. So far, crews have been able to search 38% of the area. They are also surveying buildings to see if they're safe to go inside and check air and water quality. Some schools deemed safe are opening up to students for services like meals and mental health counseling. Investigators have not shared an official cause of the fire, but one possibility is power lines. New security camera video from a bird sanctuary shows a power line spark and you can see flames. President Biden says he will travel to Hawaii on Monday. First responders across the country are planning to spend weeks in Maui to help out as well. Including a firefighter and a dog from Greeley trying to help families find closure. They're helping as part of Colorado Task Force 1, one of the teams searching burned homes for signs of remains. The task force's program manager told us that work is hard, both physically and mentally, on the rescuer and the dog too. Uh, it can be very emotional because they just go on to the next one, right? They go on to the next search site. They go on and don't really have a chance to decompress. The task force is made up of entirely volunteers from agencies across Colorado. It's spread across three teams and they rotate depending on the time of the year. If you are looking for ways you can help the victims in Hawaii, you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS to donate to the Red Cross. You can also go online to redcross.org or text Hawaii to 90999. It is now 6.05 on your Thursday morning, and today marks two years since Arvada police shot and killed a pregnant woman. Now Destiny Thompson's family is suing the department. The district attorney said the shooting was justified, but Destiny Thompson's parents say the way she was stopped, then gunned down, was not right. Officers stopped Thompson outside the American Motel, saying she fit the description of a robbery suspect. Her family's attorneys say the fact that she was pregnant should have been a big hint she was not the right person. Police say Thompson told them she wasn't the person they were looking for. She got her van and tried to drive away. Officer shouted at her to stop and bashed in her van window. As she drove away, an officer fired eight times. One of the bullets killed Thompson and her unborn child. It never gets easier. It just never does. And it's not okay. Arvada police shared a statement that included Thompson's criminal history, though she was not the person the police were looking for. Police say they were justified in stopping Thompson, and the DA agreed the shooting was justified as well. Police say the Thompson's attorneys are mischaracterizing what happened, and they will defend their officers in court. The Archdiocese of Denver and two preschools are suing Colorado over funding requirements for its universal preschool program. They want to be part of the program, but they also want the ability to turn away students with gay parents. As of now, participating schools must accept applicants regardless of sexual orientation, gender identity, and religious affiliation. The lawsuit claims that violates the Catholic school's First Amendment rights. They're asking a federal court to ensure that they can get funding just like every other secular preschool. An attorney for the schools is pointing to recent 
recent Supreme Court decisions. The Supreme Court in the past six years has three different times said that when the government creates a generally available funding program, like the Colorado Universal Preschool Program here, what it can't do is exclude religious groups or individuals from participating because of their faith. The governor's office declined to comment on the lawsuit. Former President Donald Trump and 18 others could be arraigned as soon as next month. That's what the district attorney in Fulton County is asking for. Trump and the other defendants are accused of trying to overturn Georgia's presidential election results. D.A. Fannie Willis says she took into account Trump's other pending criminal and civil cases and says these dates don't conflict with other hearing and trial dates. Willis is hoping to have a trial in Georgia in March. All 19 people named in the indictment have until next Friday to turn themselves into authorities in Atlanta. A woman is facing charges for threatening a federal judge overseeing a different case tied to Trump. Judge Tanya Chakan is overseeing the federal election case. Court documents say a woman from Texas, Abigail Shree, left a threatening voicemail meant for the judge. That voicemail included racial slurs and death threats against the judge and her family. Shree says she did make the calls but never planned to carry anything out. The judge already had extra security because of comments Trump made on his true social account. A federal appeals court ruled to restrict access Access to the abortion medication Mifepristone, but it will still stay on the market. The decision found the FDA didn't follow the proper process when it loosened restrictions in 2016. The court ruled the pill should not be sent through the mail or be prescribed by health care workers other than doctors. Nothing will change for now because an earlier Supreme Court decision guarantees its availability. The Justice Department is expected to appeal the decision. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band are postponing a couple of shows because of an illness. A post on social media says Springsteen got sick and is now recovering. He was supposed to have two concerts in Philadelphia this week. They're working on rescheduling those shows. So far, the next scheduled shows in Boston are still on for next week. And one thing you want to know about the weather today is thankfully a little bit cooler than yesterday's 99 degrees. You see only low to mid 90s today. As a little bit of cooler air has worked its way into the state. We'll see mostly sunny skies and then tomorrow a few degrees warmer with maybe an isolated late storm.